Welcome to the FXCM tutorial on MyFXCM, your account management portal. After navigating to MyFXCM in your internet browser, go ahead and enter your login and password in the respective fields and then press login. You will then be presented with the MyFXCM homepage. The homepage consists of accounts that are both open and closed that you've had with FXCM and options that you can take for those accounts such as reports, deposits, and transfers. On the right hand side you have a live chat button and questions and comments as well as FAQs and popular portals for FXCM. Up at the top of the page you can change the language, see any notifications for your account, get help, or log out. Now we're going to take a look at the options in the navigation bar. In the My Info section, you have Account Summary, which is the page we're at right now. And then the next section is Profile, so let's take a look at that. At Profile, you can change your contact information, banking information, as well as other information that's on file. The next section we're going to take a look at is Trading Agreements. These are risk disclosures and other trading agreements that you've agreed to when opening an account with FXCM. The next section that we're going to take a look at is reports. This section allows you to run reports on your account. Select the type of report you'd like to run. Select the account for which you'd like to run the report. Select the period or dates for what, which you would like the report then the format and then press get report. The next section we're going to look at is upload documentation. This section allows you to upload necessary documentation that FXCM might request of you. After loading this page select the document type that you're uploading, provide information about the document, and then press attach documents. Then select the document from your computer and finally press Submit. The next tab in the navigation section is Funds. Go to Deposit Funds to deposit funds to your account. When selecting Debit Card or ACH, you will be presented with a form that has some prompts for some information. Just fill out this information and submit the forms. If doing bank wire, you will be taken to fxcm.com. Press show bank wire details to get the details of the bank to your the currency that your account is in. Then bring these details to your bank and they will be able to process it. The next section we're going to look at is transfer funds. This section allows you to transfer funds in between accounts that are at fxcm. The first field is the from account ID and this is the account that funds are being transferred from. The next section is account balance which is the balance in the account, account currency and whether the account has open positions. Input the amount that you would like to transfer and then select the account ID to which you would like to transfer these funds. You can check this box if you'd like the first account to be closed, but note that you would need to transfer the entire balance out of there first. Also note that your account must not have open positions in order to transfer funds. Once you have completed this, you can press submit to initiate the funds transfer. The final section under the funds tab is withdraw funds. In this section, select the method by which you would like to withdraw funds and fill out the necessary information. The next section we're going to take a look at is account settings. In this section, you can add a new account to your FXCM. You can select the reason for an additional account if the reason that you would like an additional account is not listed, go ahead and press Other and then type in the reason. Then select whether you would like the account to be under the same login or under a different login. 
if selecting under a different login, you will need to select the account type and the currency that you'd like the account in. Then you have the option to transfer funds from an existing account. If you'd like to do that, press yes, and then select the account information and the amount. If not, press no, and then press submit to request a new account. The next section under account settings is LPOA form or limited power of attorney, which will allow you to submit a form, a form to let somebody else trade on your account. Once clicking the link, you'll have you'll get a PDF file that needs to be filled out and then uploaded to MyFXCM or emailed to admin at fxcm.com. The next section and final section under account settings is referring broker designation. In this section, you can designate a referring broker for your account. To do that, select the account number and type in the referring broker name that you'd like to use on the account. And then press submit to submit it. That has been the My FXCM walkthrough from FXCM. Stay tuned for more videos.